Good morning, everybody. It's a fabulous day. And I woke up this morning thinking about this video here today. Thinking about also a presentation that I'm going to be presenting later tonight at the Chain Breakers, which they help victims of child abuse, excuse me, victims of domestic abuse. And as I've been thinking about this and as I've been preparing this, one of the things that keeps coming back and over into my mind is the problem of our thinking. We take so many times and we go through this process. This is going to be a part of actually what I'm going to be presenting on tonight. So you wake up in the morning and you might have thoughts like, Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, this sucks. Oh, da, da, da. oh, I need to do this for the children. Oh, and we have all of these problems that just start circling throughout our brain. And we catastrophize it. It's like, oh, if I didn't have to do this. And we start really internalizing the emotion. What happens as we internalize the emotion is we are taking that emotion. And those who've been here with me for a while, I've talked about this before, but it keeps coming up over and over again. So when you get an emotion and it comes to you from a stimulus and the stimuli could be any number of things. It could be somebody wakes up and your kids you know, jump on you and you're not you know, where they wake up and you get frustrated it's like, oh man, why did you jump? That's an immediate emotion. But you immediately take that emotion and you suppress it. And you're like, oh, I... And you give your son or daughter or husband, whoever it is, you give them a hug. And then you're kind of going throughout the day, you start waking up and maybe you have a dog and the dog comes in and starts barking. You're like, oh, shit. Oh, sh just stop. And there's some more emotion that we just suppress. Then we really start getting going and we're working on the dishes and we drop a dish and it breaks. And it's like, oh, just, oh man, why, yeah, why, why? And instead of letting it go, we suppress it. Now, I'm not saying that every time you feel emotion, you go, oh, and then you act on it and you scream and yell and throw a fit. You know, that's what I'm talking about. But it's recognizing that that emotion's coming in and we need to take a turn to channel it. Well, that stimuli, those emotions, excuse me, not the emotions that come in, but the stimuli that comes in affects how we take that emotion. And a lot of times we take and we bring it in and we bury it. And we did bury it somewhere down here. Well, what happens right here? Stomach pain. Oh, man. Everybody puts their emotions different places. Some it'll be in their stomach, some it'll be in their shoulders, head, you know, throughout their body, knees, back. I mean, we store emotions to suppress so that we don't react in a negative way which is good. But the problem comes is when we don't let go of that emotion that has been developed, that emotion that's right here, that's creating that pain. And if we don't let go of that emotion, then we pile it on with more and more. You know, like we say, here is the dog. Here is the children. You know, here was the dishes that broke. Well, all of these emotions now are buried up to here. And we're just filling ourselves up. And that's not even counting our coping motions that we have already inside of us that are there on a regular basis that we've never dug up and got out. So these are all of our new emotions. Well, we're already filled up all the way down here. We're, so now we're, we're to this point. You keep pushing off, keep pushing off, don't worry about it. Well, maybe we go to the grocery store here and they got your order wrong or they charged you more. Then you have to go back in line and 
get your refund and or you just decide you know what I'm not even gonna worry about it and you go home but you're still frustrated about it you still have this frustration well there's another emotion we just suppressed it we just kept it down so then we're just kind of going throughout the day and let's say we have somebody who's coming over and they're gonna give you a free evaluation of something so you come over and you're you're all excited for this valuation maybe they're going to do something to improve your house or something and they come in and they share this information and they say well, we can do this for you right now and you're like okay well they do it but they do a really yucky job <laughs> they really do a bad job and they leave and they say they're done and you're looking at it and you're going what is this what is this this isn't done so then you're you're frustrated and you go and you tell somebody this is what's going on this oh so frustrating and but we never deal with it we just add more of that anger now because they didn't do a good job and now your house that you're trying to improve looks a little more like it's been pieced together oh so frustrating so now it's now it's towards the evening. The kids come home after school and there's just a fighting is going on. You're like, stop fighting. And you this daughter does this or this son does that. And and you're just like, oh my god. And that emotion just keeps building and building and building. Well then all of a sudden something happens. And it's probably the smallest thing throughout the whole day. And maybe it's something as simple as your daughter comes up and tugs on you. And you go, what do you want? Leave me alone. Will you stop bothering me? And, and you take it out immediately. All of this emotion is now being dumped on this child. All of it. You, now you're just letting go because you've built it up and it's got to go somewhere and you just start dumping it and you just ah, ah, ah. Well, what happens is now this child their new stimulus just came from you and that stimuli is telling them you know they can interpret it however they want but part of it could be oh I'm not good oh I need to leave mom alone oh I need to leave you know not talk about things oh I, and all of these things they start to internalize and what happens they start to build up their own emotions the problem is is they are so small they haven't learned the coping mechanisms things like that so just a few emotions causes them to fill up and boom then they explode and when they explode they might not have a sibling or somebody to take it out on or maybe they do so they start taking out on objects or things. They take it on, on uh, animals. They start doing self-harm to themselves because they don't know how to handle this emotion. And so we've got to learn to stop this process. We've got to learn to process these emotions. And these emotions don't get processed by themselves. You have to take charge. You have to be the one that says enough is enough and I've got to break this cycle. I'm not going to dump it onto my children. I'm not going to pass it on. Because the thing is that even though you dumped here, you actually kept all of this emotion still inside you. Because now you've dumped, it wasn't a positive let go a release, it was a negative. And so now you've got two people full of all these different emotions that are going on their side. Some may be able to handle it a little bit better than others, but really, when you think about it as a full spectrum, they are not handling it at all. They, they surprise you. They may be saying coping mechanisms and doing things that make you think like they're handling it, but in actuality, they are not handling it at all. And we need to stop this. And I've talked about this before. Journaling is one that you can stop this process. When those emotions come up, you have a pad of paper and you start writing. You just write and write and write and write and get those feelings out of you. But after you do that, so that they don't stay inside of you, you need to build. 
You need to build with positive things that are going to uplift you. Dancing, singing, you know, listening to scriptures or motivational talks and all of these different things. You need to build so that then you are letting go of this negative emotion in the proper way because you're writing it down out here on this little book and then you can tear it up and destroy it and throw it away and that way you are now being able to handle what comes the rest of the day and then by the night you're not exploding on your children or your husband or your family or friends you're not exploding you don't go Poof. that's the power of learning to manage your thoughts and your emotions today journal journal just just a little bit take one of the emotions that you're feeling and journal about it let go of it so it doesn't go to somebody that you truly love and care about because these little people they can't handle it you can't handle it but they really can't handle it and they develop these negative coping strategies I'm I know a young lady that she does a lot of self-harm I've caught my children doing self-harm and so then I say hey you need to go do this it's, it's not on the body don't harm your body don't hurt yourself let it go properly and as they do this they become healthier and then when a stimuli comes because it will we're constantly going to get stimuli stimulation from all these different negative resources especially in the media if you follow social social media at all i mean there's so much out there that is just negative and awful well when you allow that and you never deal with it you just get frustrated, you get overwhelmed, you get angry, you get tired, you're bored, you're, I mean, just feeling lonely, left out, can, all of these different emotions that then something happens. And like they say, it's the, the camel on the straw, the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, that's what it is. That simple phrase is why it's so true is because then we haven't learned how to deal with it and handle it and then we explode. I had this happen when I was younger. My best friend was, he, he was kind of always teasing me, always teasing me. And I, this was before I knew any of this. And he's just razzing me, razzing me. And I just, I could learn like, hey, no big deal, no big deal. Well, then he turned to my sister. And he, I don't even remember what it was he did, but it was just something small and I exploded. I exploded and I remember grabbing my friend and I threw him up against the wall and I held him against the wall and I told him, I said, don't you ever, ever talk to my sister like that again. And I saw fear in his face. And afterwards, after we'd calmed down, he's like, Dude, whoa, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know, I, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I had hurt and he just didn't know. And b instead of being in a, a positive emotional state where I could say, hey dude, stop man, it's not cool. I exploded and I almost seriously hurt my friend and he had fear on his face. Up to that point, I'd never said anything. I just kind of kept taking it, kept taking it and ignoring it, not worrying about it. Oh, ha ha, big deal until that day. And then I exploded and I interrupted in such a way that I grabbed my friend and I threw him against the wall. And I was not a big guy back then. I was the shortest all the way to my junior year. I was my build was not, I was never a muscular, you know, ripped guy. But I picked up my friend who was bigger than me and threw him against the wall. That's where we have to be careful about our emotions. 
because we do things that we don't mean to do. We react instead of choosing to live our life in a positive and an uplifting way. We react and we do things that then create negative results. And those negative results then we pass on to our children. And that's the stimuli. And it's not like we are doing it on purpose. It's because we've never learned. Well, now you know. Journal. When that child comes in and they jump on your bed and you're frustrated, take that minute, give them a hug, and then say, okay, let, let mommy do some work right now. And then write. Get that emotion out of you so you don't take it out on your kids. There's too many people who don't learn to manage their emotions and they take it out on others. The, nobody deserves that. And you owe it to yourself to learn to manage those emotions so that you can be happier, that you can be a stronger individual, and that you can start really accomplishing your goals. So do this exercise today, right now. Right, right now. Literally, right, right now. As soon as this is done, write your emotion that you're feeling today. And if you're thinking, well, I'm kind of happy, then find an emotion and start out by saying, I am feeling angry and see if there's any anger inside of you. Get it out, learn to manage it beforehand so that it doesn't affect you and produce negative results. You're amazing, believe it, have a fantastic, wonderful day.